excuse me. Excuse me. What in the world are you thinking? Me, Gene, the first thing you need to do is to tell these people to shut up if you want to hear what I got to say. What up, y'all? KMV the Sixth Ninja in the place to be for a paper saber universe. You know what this is, or do you? Are you new here? This is the New World Podcast. I am KMB, the Sexy Ninja, the host with the most. I don't have anything else after that. I was like, I was trying to think of a rhyme. I was like, okay, here I'm host with the most. Here's a toast to professional wrestling host. I, I don't know. I fucked up there. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But welcome to the New World Podcast. If you're new, I, I, I review uh, Raw, um, NXT, Dynamite, SmackDown, Rampage, uh, any pay per view, adding more shows um, to this. Uh, I know my one of my goals is a QA type thing, and I was thinking of making it live. But uh, I, I, I am, a, I, I've been, a po- I've been podcasting for about five, like, I sound so nervous, why do I sound so nervous, man, you shouldn't sound nervous, brother, you shouldn't sound nervous, but I've been podcasting for about five, almost six years right now, and you know, uh, it's been a crazy journey, and I found my love within this podcast that was created, and there was many different types and versions of this podcast, you know, uh, I, because of my love for this sport, I was a wrestler for five years, and, you know, it, I, I love and I, I, I worship this sport because it goes all the way back to my roots, uh, you know, with my great grandpa, my my grandma and everything like that. So professional wrestling is very important to me. And it's a it's a it's a bond that I share with my brothers, you know, and it's something that's been in my family for so long. I, I'm sorry I'm ranting about stuff, but I just want you to know this is the New World Podcast, and this is what it's about. It's about us talking about professional wrestling, us critiquing it, us uh, bitching, us fucking complaining, and then us being like, why? You know, so, but we're going to talk about Monday Night Raw. (laughs) Is that a good intro? I thought that was a good intro to the show. My producer's looking at me like, no, it's not. (laughs) And when I say producer, I'm just looking inside. I'm looking at the mirror. (laughs) <laughs> uh, we, we have more uh, in Jacksonville, Florida. Kevin Patrick, Corey Graves uh, on commentary Monday Night Raw. Here we go, May eight, two thousand twenty three. <sighs> uh, we ha- they announced last night. Um, I think it was last early last late last night or early this morning. The competitors in this World Heavyweight Championship tournament, uh, Edge, Seth Rollins, Austin Theory, Shinsuke Nakamura, Sheamus, AJ Styles, Bobby Lashley, Cody Rhodes, Damian Priest, Finn Balor, was it, yeah, Damian, right? And Ray and uh, Miz. So, I, I, you know, I... I was very excited for this because I was like, man, these 12 are going to tear it up. They're going to tear it up. And we had our first uh, two matches set tonight in this bracket of who's going to go on to Saudi Arabia, uh, May 27th, Night of Champions. Um, Cody Rose comes out, and he cuts a promo. He's dressed in gear, and I was like, oh, we're going to have this match first. No, 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 no. We're going to have – because the way – Triple H said it was going to be, we're going to have two triple threat matches, and the winner of those matches will face each other at the end of the night in the main event, and the winner of that will face whoever it is, because it's going to be on Raw and SmackDown, and I saw a lot of people, I, I had a lot of people come to me and be like, if this championship was just meant for Monday Night Raw, why are they involving SmackDown? Why not? You know, you, you have this, like, if you look at this roster, you look at these 12 athletes on this roster, for this tournament, like, you know, and then I, I, you, you know that it, it, the, the heavyweight champion is going to stay on Raw, and I cannot, I could not fucking wait to hear what Roman has to say. He's like, oh, I, I leave a little bit, I smash Cody, and you're, you're, uh, you guys, uh, create a whole new championship, you know, just because no one can smash me, huh? Huh? I, I, I'm so excited for SmackDown just to hear because Roman Reigns is back. But that's besides the point. <laughs> Cody cuts a promo. And then he's like, let's let the tournament begin. We have Seth Rollins versus, here we go. Wait, 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 and versus Damian Priest. But here we go, here we go. You ready? Versus Shinsuke Nakamura. 
Seth Rollins with a win. <laughs> the way they set up this bracket thing, because uh, the next the next part of the, the, this first round is Cody versus Miz versus Finn. I was like, yeah, well, that seems a little predictable, doesn't it? You know, like Seth winning, obvious. And I was, and I, and I already put on the Twitter. If you want to follow at K and B the Sexy Ninja and talk wrestling with me, uh, or anything kind of nerdy, that's what I am. That's what I do. Um, but I said I am calling it right now at Night of Champions. It's going to be Seth Rollins versus um, AJ Styles for the World Heavyweight Championship, and we're going to get Cody versus Brock too. I, I put that out there on the Twitter. I was like, here you go, world. Here you go. I'm putting this out there now. And it looks like KMB delivers. Well, kind of. I just, I'm just a nerd who watches a lot of wrestling. <laughs> but Seth Rollins for the win. This was a fun match, though. This, this was showcasing these, these, these superstars. And, you know, I, I was happy that Damian Priest was, was locked into this because we're looking at him as a main eventer one day. So I, I was really happy. You know, can Damian Priest cut a backstage interview real quick? You know, talking about it's either going to be him or Finn that's going to bring the gold to the bloodline. Not bloodline. Sorry, my bad. Judgment Day and everything like that. So uh, we have this really uh, great backstage thing with Imperium because they're now on Monday Night Raw. They said, Gunther's coming next week. You know, on our faces. That sounds gross. That sounds nasty. But Gunther is going to be here next week. <laughs> and, they, and they get in with Kevin, and Kevin and uh, Sammy are talking, and they're like, hey, man, you know, we're talking here. We're talking about stuff really important. You know, you need to, uh, yeah. And they're like, no. And he's like, go away, five minutes. And like, we're Imperium. And they're like, yeah, so if you give us five minutes, you'll still be Imperium. You know, Gunther. <laughs> but it sets up a match between these two later on. Uh, we have Otis with Maxine and Chad Gable versus Mustafa Ali. I, I hate this positive crap. I I, I feel like this was a, a like a, hey, you remember when Baron Corbin was like Happy Corbin? Well, let's, but let's let's put a spit on it. He's so positive. Let's make this Mustafa Ali and Mustafa Ali for the win. Oh, this hurt because Otis is my spirit animal. God damn it. But Maxine and Chad are having a little, you know, fickle outside. And then, like, Otis could have won, but he was distracted. And Otis lost to Mustafa Ali. Damn. <laughs> but what's going to happen with Otis and Chad's relationship? When will the end of Alpha Academy happen? I'm not looking forward to that day because I love this team. And I don't want... I. God, I don't want Chad to be left in the in the dust. Chad Gable deserves the world. <laughs> deserves the world. Alright, here we go. Round one, uh, the second match of this tournament. Cody Rhodes versus The Miz versus Finn Balor. And guess what? Cody Rhodes for the win? I think not. Because ah, I, I was thinking this was going to happen when Seth and Cody went at each other. But I'm glad they did it in this match. Got it on early. You know, had this happen early. And it's Brock Lesnar. Oh, my God. And look at the face. Look at the damage. You know, because he got busted open. That backlash. I kind of, it was kind of weird when they were showing the package. Like, it was black and white because of the blood and everything. Like, they were trying to, I don't know. But you look at Brock's face. He's got the black eye. He's got the uh, staples in his head from where he was busted open. He looks scary. I got scared. I got scared looking at Brock. Especially the way Brock's like, look at me. Look at me. You know, Joker-esque, like, you know, psycho fucking scary shit here with Brock Lesnar. I was like, holy shit, man. I was scared, ladies and gentlemen. I was scared. And I kind of pooped myself because it did scare me that much and what he did to Cody. And uh, he he's like, look at me. Yo, you want to talk? What do you want to talk about? want to talk about my face? Look at my face. You know, then me and you at Night of Champion, Cody, puts the challenge out there. Cody Brock, round two. Um, it, it was a vicious attack. And like I said, Brock Lesnar's just appearance and the way he looked and the way he was delivering those lines, it, it, it definitely was goosebumpy because I was like, fuck. 
Now uh, these guys are going to kill each other. Oh, go go listen to what I thought of their match at Backlash. Uh, I did the review, but Cody's backstage. They got medical. You know, they're checking on him. Um, then that's kind of the theme until we actually hear from Cody. Uh, is he going to accept the challenge? We shall see. Rhea Ripley comes out with Dom Dom versus uh, Dana Brooke. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> You're still on the roster. Okay, cool. You know, and of course, Rhea Ripley for the win. They start attacking uh, da- Dana Brooke and Natalia comes out. Cool. I, I love Natalia. I-, 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 I feel she she's the person they go to all the time, I feel like. Natalia feels like... Uh, we, we need, uh, we need to build some story. We need somebody with some skills. We need somebody who can, uh, build a storyline, you know, cause she ain't going to win the championship, but she does bring a certain level of, uh, to the table, especially with the opponents. And so if we're going to see Natalia and Rhea Ripley at night of champions, I say, fucking bring it on, <laughs> you know, and I, but I want Natalia one day to get, you know, get up and get her moment and stuff like that. But, you know, it, it's just one of those things where, yeah, it's all the time, especially what happened with Ronda Rousey, what's happening here, Bianca. They're like, hey, hey, uh, where's Natalia? Natalia, come here. Uh, yep, yeah, do your thing. That's why when I saw it, I was like, okay, sure. Um, Byron was backstage with Zoe Stark. Zoe Stark uh, is now on the main roster from NXT. Uh, and she saw Nikki Cross and says, this is the problem with this division because everyone's weird. And I'm Zoe Stark, but it sets up a match for later on, um, later on in the night between those two. Now we got Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn versus Imperium. Uh, this match was cool. I, I really did enjoy this match. Uh, uh, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn for the win. Um, you know, I want, I want to see more of this. I want I can't wait to Gunther comes back. Is he going to challenge either Kevin or is he going to challenge Sami for that sacred mat? You know, the ring general has come. I'm not going to say that word no more. It sounds so dirty. Uh, Sonya and Chelsea, uh, Chelsea Green are backstage. They're getting signatures on his paper. Then we get a kind of the way reunion. Dexter, um, Indy, Johnny, uh, Can- uh, Candice LeRae. You know, they're all there. And, you know, it was nice seeing them all together. Indy Hartwell is on the main roster. She's got her Dexy. You know, we got Johnny. We got everyone here. And it just feels so good. But but Sonya and Chelsea are trying to work on something. They're trying to get these signatures. What are these signatures for? Hmm. 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 Uh, we had a bloodline package about them winning at uh well, mainly solo for the win. Is solo gonna change? Is just solo gonna hurt the Usos this Friday? I'm I'm excited just as you, man. I'm excited to see where we're going. Well, you know, this Bloodline storyline has been, like, the the main focus of everything. And, you know, I want them to end it on a note where it kind of comes to an end with this feud. And not feud, but, like, building this next level of the storyline with the Usos versus Roman versus Solo. Because I I feel that's the next way to go. And then at one point, Solo turns on Roman and Solo's like, yo, I'm the head of the table. Um, but, uh, we had, uh, Nikki Cross versus Zoe Stark debut. She's got the win. She's got the win. Come on. You know, <laughs> she's got the win. What, what can I say? Uh, you know, but Zoe looking great. Um, I think she's a great addition to the Monday night roster. Uh, the crowd wasn't too hot on her. Like, you know, it was either or it was kind of like middle mild, but, I think as she progresses in the main roster, she will uh, shine at some point. Just depends too where we're gonna where 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 the stories are gonna take her. I think Nikki Cross is a good start. That's just my opinion. Byron's backstage with Rhea and Dominic. We got Xavier and Tozawa that interrupts, and um, Xavier, you know, he challenges Dominic. That sets up a match later on. I was like, okay, cool. We got Dominic on the show. Dom Dom. And I like when Rhea steps in the middle and Tozawa just bounces off. And Xavier's like, oh, dumb, dumb. Okay, dumb, dumb. I'll see you in the ring. I was like, ah, so clever, Xavier. Trish Stratus. <sighs> and this missing, Becky Lynch is missing, missing, missing. Uh, I, I, I will say this. 
No disrespect to Trish. None. I don't want it. I don't want anybody to come at me about this. But this was sort of just blah until Becky finally came out. You know, this heel Trish, I like, I'm like, I want to get behind it. But I I you know I I I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. It's like I love Trish Stratus. She is a legend. She is somebody. I, you know, the crowd is booing her, but they also are not really, it's really mild when you really think about it. Like, until Becky comes out, that's when the real pop happens. And yes, I understand. Yes, Becky's the face. So yeah, she should get the pop. We But we got the first psych out, the music, then boom. And she's actually here. The man has arrived. The man has come around. Hits Trish. Um, Trish goes out of the ring, but I was like, oh, thank God. I couldn't hear this promo no more. <laughs> I could not hear this promo no more from Trish. I was like, thank you, Becky. Now just go whip Trish's ass and let's end this storyline because I'm I'm not, I'm, I don't. I, ah, meh, meh. <laughs> Cody's backstage you know, with Kevin and Sammy. They're all checking on him. He's getting iced up. Next up, we have, uh, Xavier Woods versus Dominic with Rhea. Dominic for the win. Got the tights. But this was this was a good match. This was a great match. And I like this new intensity that Xavier Woods is bringing to his matches and stuff like that. And I know he's going to shine really, really big. And I can't wait to see when he finally gets his run as Intercontinental Champion, United States Champion. Hell, hopefully one day, World Heavyweight Champion or Universal Champion. So... I, I believe Xavier Woods deserves that, so all of the New Day can be champions. You know, I be you know, I, I want to see that because Xavier's he's too good to waste. He just he just is. Uh, we had Shinsuke backstage with the Miz, uh, setting up a match between uh, Miz and him next week because <laughs> Miz was like trying like to tell him like, hey, we should be a tag team. I'm like, no, <laughs> no, Miz Miz K Nakamura. I'm like, no. Please, please, God. And Shinsuke teased it. I was like, please, God, no, 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 no. Triple H, Hunter, Paul. No, I don't want this. Not for Shinsuke. Not, you know, and no. Instead of a match, I was like, oh, God. Dodge that. <laughs> you know, that hellfire there. <laughs> well, we're going to get those two next week. And Chelsea and Sonya, they finally got they got in for the Raquel or, and uh, Liv. The champs, because they have a big championship match against Damage Control this Friday, and they're like, "Oh, Chelsea Sonya is like, hey, you, you know, you guys signed it, but you got to understand that this is we're gonna face whoever wins your t- big tag team match for those tag team championships. So we got the dupe on you, ha ha, we duped you. So we shall see. Uh, Cody backstage cuts a little bit of a promo." And he's talking about Brock. He says, you're attacking me I don't, you know, for, for nothing and blah, blah, blah. But he, the big part about this is he accepted the challenge. He accepted um, Brock Lesnar's, and I feel like this is going to be either a no-holds-barred match, I quit match, last man standing. It's going to be brutal, and these two are going to kill each other. I saw somebody, I'm not going to say the Twitter handle, like, Oh, Brock is going to beat Cody to go back to AEW. Yeah, sure. Sure. This is going to be a big match for Cody. Cody getting another win on Brock is going to be huge. Huge. And we can start having him build back to take on Roman at maybe next year's WrestleMania. But I'm also hearing reports that uh, Roman's reign is going to be in 2024 as well. And I was like, damn. This is why we created a whole, you know, we didn't create this. We brought back the World Heavyweight Championship. (laughs) <laughs> what was funny is like the them bringing the world heavyweight championship. I was thinking about this the other day because I saw Roman with the titles and I saw world heavyweight champion on the uh, WWE, you know, WWE title. Then there's the universal champion. And I was like, but, uh, sh- uh, you know, I'm going to shut up. <laughs> That's the undisputed universal championship. God damn it. <laughs> and uh, I remember hearing like bully Ray, like, I think it was Bully Ray and Dave LaGreca and uh, Mark Henry that were talking about the championship. So, like, okay, so he's the champion of the world and he's the champion of the universe and the galaxy. So, but I can't wait to see who wins. And I feel like Seth is going to win that title. Because now we're in our main event. 
Finn Balor got a little busted open in the mouth versus Seth freaking Rollins. And Seth freaking Rollins is going on. So I have half the prediction right. And I looked at the wife. I was like, look here, brother. It's going to be AJ Styles, Seth freaking Rollins, at Night of Champions for the World Heavyweight Championship, brother. And she goes, why the fuck are you talking to me like that? I was like, sorry, I just got excited. <laughs> but there's a great moment with Finn where they're fighting. He has a little bit of the blood. He's like, I can do this all day. He says, like, I can do, I can too, bitch. And they, they just go at it. And uh, what a way to end the night. I got to say, I really did enjoy this Raw, raw especially after... Um, uh, a pay-per-view like Backlash, which was really fun, really great. If you want to check out my review for that, it's out now. Uh, so now we're moving in different directions. We have uh, Jinder Mahal's back with uh, Sanja and Veer. Veer, who was missing for like 12 months and was on milk cartons because he's supposed to make that debut. But they're coming up from NXT as well. Uh, you know, we there's a lot going to happen here. And it's just a couple weeks until Night of Champions. Just a couple weeks, and we still got a battleground, and we got NXT tomorrow. So what's going to happen tomorrow? You know, it's a good time to be a wrestling fan. That's all I can say. I, I honestly would give this show a solid four and a half out of five. Was it the greatest Raw? No, it was a good Raw. It was a good Raw from top to bottom. I really enjoyed myself. Uh, Seth Rollins, uh, the triple first, triple threat. But uh, I would say the meats and potatoes was Brock in that scary fucking promo he was cutting. Like I was, I, I legitimately was like, oh my God, this is a whole new level. He's like, fuck this cowboy shit. I'm Brock and I want to fight. I was like, oh God. <laughs> so... A lot of stuff going on. I can't wait until Gunther debuts next week. Um, tell me what you thought of the show. Drop those comments below. Then after that, hit that like and subscribe and go to prowrestlingtees.com slash new world podcast and get yourself a new world podcast shirt. Let's let's start this movement with the new world podcast, brother. You know. So, you know, and the design was by Penta X. Go check out his music. He has this great song by uh, dedicated to Razor Ramon. Also, show some love to Katie because she designed the K&B, the Sexy Ninja logo that's on the Pro Wrestling Tea Store right now. I have the true Sexy Ninja mascot coming uh, soon. God, I said coming. I hate, you know, <laughs> when I mean coming, my dirty mind goes to the other thing. And I don't know why I do that. <laughs> yeah, Cochino. God damn it. All right, y'all. <laughs> like and subscribe. Share with your grandma. Share with your grandpa. Share with the bum down at Walmart. I am KMB, the sexy ninja. And as always, the new world podcast is for life. Charlie Rose, look at my face. You want to take credit to this, Cody? You...